Hey guys and gals, let's take a look at the bricks and pieces in the Zombie Cave by Lego Minecraft. Set number 21141 contains 241 bricks. And we get four minifigures and some bricks. Yeah, oh, wow, this one's a shocker. It's actually taped. I was expecting some thumb pusher things, but no, I have to take some small scissors to open that up. That just tells you how old this set is. <laughs> So this is from my own personal collection. I think this was given to me as a gift from my parents. So we'll see what we got in here. And yes, I do review Christmas gifts too. Ah, <laughs> oh, they know what I'm doing here. So we got ourselves an instruction manual. Yeah, pretty much. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in the bricks. And this one just has two bags. We'll just set that one over there. This is going to be a real quickie. And tonight, this is a bedside unboxing. Okay. So, looks like we got ourselves a 6x12 and a 6x8 plate. That out of my way. I don't want to knock my head on that. We get several 6x12, 6x6. Several plates, mainly 2x4 and 2x2 plates. Here's a 4x4 plate. Ooh, a reddish brown brick, and since this is an older set, I bet this thing will probably turn into dust. It'll just disintegrate if I use that. A couple of legs, some torsos, so I'm assuming this one's for Steve and this one's for the zombie. Here's the kid zombie's head and the adult zombie. And this is the body, and it looks almost like what you'd use for a baby figure. Well, except for the arms are fixed to the side. <laughs> so you could probably use this as a little, uh, maybe an infant jumper. And it looks like maybe the infant spilled some pea soup on that. I don't know. <laughs> Just got to use your imagination. We got ourselves an iron helmet, some 2x2 two two bricks, a printed TNT block. Anything else in there? So we got two of these. Two by three plates, some one by two by two corner plates. Very basic pieces, but here's the deal, guys and gals. These pieces are great for terrain. So if you want to build like a backcountry scene like that I have built in the past, this type of stuff is what I use. Here's a two by two jumper plate in medium stone gray. Makes great things to anchor down figures to like a backcountry scene we got in here. It looks like just mainly studs and stuff, small accessories and plates and all sorts of stuff. Get out of my way. <laughs> so we got ourselves an iron pickaxe and things that like to roll around. We got plenty of studs, gold studs and pearl gold is also starting to break so I have to be careful with this. And two by two round brick, some one by one plates, jumper plates, some of these minifigure accessory things and oh that's a cookie I can always use extra cookies so what is that to feed the parrots only two cookies wow and they're chocolate chip too more like cocoa chips and some stud flowers and got some transparent orange and yellow one by one plates oh, just basically small odds and ends We've got some transparent red studs. Yeah, your typical stuff. Finally, let's see what's in bag two. Well, we already know what's in there. This is the typical Minecraft stuff. We may be surprised. Look at all those plastic bags in there. Oh, there's only one, but it feels like there's millions of them. So. We get a set of 1x12 bricks. Bricks are, well, they're pretty common in Minecraft sets, especially the older ones. We got some 2x4 and 2x6 bricks. There's one in uh, brittle brown. We got some 2x2 bricks in various colors. 6x6 plate. Some 1x2x2 wall elements. Okay, I could use more floorboards, but there's only just one in this. 1x4 medium nougat flat tile. 1x2 Technic brick with two holes. They got one of these 
one by two bricks with the two Technic pins. Here's a Technic brick with one hole. One by two by two corner brick. We got two of those. And a one by four brick with slide. One of these nail Technic cross axles. <laughs> Now, what's the point of the flange? Is so when you put them inside of a Technic brick, it's flush on the side, so they don't go through. Pretty cool. You get a two by two plate with ball. I call it a hitch. Two by four flat tiles, four by four plate. We get some two by four plates in bright green. Uh, so we get a two. Well, we got two one by two two by two. 45 degree slopes. Won't be able to say that fast. Some, some 1 by 2 bricks. Here's one with the clip. Now, yes, this is reddish brown. And this is a clip. Not a really good combination there. And a 1 by 2 plate with two holders. Yeah, it's the same old stuff. At least this is a quickie. Let's see, I see some parts in here of interest. Okay, let's open that right up. And in this little bag, plenty of jumper plates. One or two by two jumper plates, some hollow studs, reddish brown. I bet if I shoved a stick in there, those things will just literally just they'll just vaporize. <laughs> and some one by one transparent orange bricks. A couple of these one by two plates with slide, one by one bricks. Some round plates. You think there would have been a crafting table in here? Hmm, one by three flat tile. Just one of those and a two by two flat tile. Now, just by absorbing all the parts, there is a lot of bricks in here, a lot of building bricks. Great for terrains. So you get a lot of natural colors that you could use in you know pretty much any type of terrain. Beauty of Minecraft sets. Great terrain builders. <laughs> Other than that, though, I, it's the same old stuff that all these Minecraft sets are. It's just the same old muted colors, but great natural earth tones for building landscapes and stuff. So these pieces here will come into some good use for building that type of things. Matter of fact, I am working on a few scenes right now, and I can always use medium stone gray bricks for unorlayment, for rocks. I like to build rockscapes along the side of a hill. Great for that. So this set does have some pretty good parts for those type of builds.